A family in Tehachapi distraught after the puppy they adopted from the Kern County Animal Shelter dies five days after they bring it home. The dog died from an infectious disease, but the family says they weren't warned the dog had it. We sent Connie Tran out to investigate. Connie? The Knight family from Tatchpee says the animal shelter knew that the dog was sick, but the Kern County Animal Shelter says that is not true, and they absolutely do not knowingly adopt out animals that could be sick. I don't have the courage to go down there yet because I have to go back into that building. Alicia Knight and her daughter Amanda say it's too soon to ever come back here to the Kern County Animal Shelter. It's just too heartbreaking, they say. This morning we cried again over her. It's, yeah. I, she died on Sunday, and I felt like I couldn't even function the rest. Because of, of Rosie, the three-month-old Queensland healer puppy they rescued from the shelter to join their family, which includes two other pups, Ginny and Marley. Rosie died only five days after they brought her home from the deadly and contagious canine disease called Parvo. We couldn't believe that. That she died. You know, we were in such shock. It was like, this can't be happening. The Knight family says the shelter told them Rosie was perfectly healthy. They say if the shelter said that she had even a slight trace of parvo, they would have never adopted her. I cannot handle to lose another animal. The Kern County Animal Shelter says they received Rosie as a stray on September 17th. They tested her for parvo, and the test came back negative. We asked them how, if the dog died from parvo, was it not detected in her system? Uh, the incubation period for parvo is 10 to 14 days, so um, you know, the dog could have been infected, but if the animal wasn't here long enough, it would have missed the initial signs by our medical staff. They say every dog goes through an initial intake procedure and then another check before they're transferred to the adoption center. We, we at Kern County Animal Control would never adopt, knowingly adopt a dog that has one. They apologize for any bad customer service and acknowledge that they may not always get customer service 100% right. How many other people, how many other children are going to suffer? How many other animals are going to get sick? The Kern County Animal Shelter says that they are very sorry that Rosie ended up dying, but they stand by the fact that they give every single animal in the shelter the proper medical examination. In the studio, I'm Connie Tran for Eyewitness News. Thanks, Connie. Remember